Boys, I want to welcome y'all to Master Distiller. My friend Mark Ramsey, Tim Smith, and of course, I'm Digger. You're here to make us a little peach brandy. True peach brandy is a dry, oak-finished spirit that dates back to America's first settlers. Traditional hard cider ingredients, apples and pears, only flourished in the north, so resourceful southern colonists used the peaches that had been planted by Spanish explorers a century earlier. The new peach cider, called Mabi, turned quickly in the warm climate. To make it last, they distilled it in copper pot stills, storing the resulting high-proof alcohol in oak casks. Aged peach brandy became a favorite in colonial cocktails such as Kentucky's original mint julep. And by the 1780s, it was worth more than any American spirit. But the high price was its downfall. <laughs> Cut it off. All right. A friend of mine told me, he says, you ain't a moonshiner if you ain't got a coon pecker. <laughs> Can I give you one? <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Well, that's a good friend. You. Now we're having a party. I just feel like I'm feeling a lot of heat. I'm making sure like my gaskets are on all the way. Oh, you'll like, feel heat from the copper. Just the copper? Yeah, you'll yeah. feel the heat coming off the copper and the flames coming around the still. I'm used to using a 600 gallon hybrid still. Never a little tiny full copper still, direct heat. I mean, I, I got it going pretty full board down there. <laughs> I got that gas going. It's Wonderful. hot. I'll turn it down when it gets like 130. These stills are brand new to them. They're not what they've got at home, I'm sure. Probably get dislocated pretty fast if nothing in the bumper. That uh, thing will heat up pretty quick. Yeah. Nothing in there. I never distilled with a copper still. Everything is totally different. I was walking into a new territory for me. I think I'm starting to feel something. Oh, that's your water? Yeah. This one's kind of a little hard to get adjusted. I've never run on a copper still. I always use stainless. The stainless takes a lot longer to heat up. So it's going to be a big trial for me. Copper, though more expensive than stainless steel, has been the preferred material for making stills for centuries. During fermentation, the yeast in the mash produces alcohol along with better tasting sulfur. When the mash is distilled, the sulfur reacts with the copper to produce copper sulfate, which sticks to the still, removing it from the alcohol vapors to produce a smoother tasting final product. It's a waiting game. But because copper conducts heat at a rate 20 times greater than stainless steel, proper temperature control is essential to prevent scorching. Well, we got liquor flowing. It's keeping that hot. Yeah. It shouldn't be hot like that. You know, for how quick we're running I it. Mean, I mean, down here it's OK, but I mean, right in here, she's pretty hot. These small stills are a different animal. They, oh, they're a little more me. finicky, ain't they? Believe me, yeah. They leave way less room for error. Very touchy, very sensitive steel. Oh, yeah, that's some big bubbles in there. <laughs> if you make it less than 100 proof, the spirit will come after you. <laughs> <laughs> You're running pretty fast. Probably like seven, eight jars in here. <laughs> when we start drinking. <laughs> <laughs> the fact the peer pressure here, they're not in a race against each other. They're in a race against the clock. I'm on my 12th jar. Boys, are you seeing all them jars? I'm good. I'm just antsy. Just turn the steel wide open, just ran. What the hell's going on? I started feeling maybe I was going a little too fast about an hour in when I was already probably had a jar or two. That's like 150. I hope that all of this taste and taste and taste has not confused his palate. An alcohol will cloud good judgment. Oh, I think we got her here. It's all good and clear. Don't get in that too much. It blows my mind to get to a point I wouldn't be able to determine which one I really wanted to bring forward. You know, I know they're nervous, and it's, it's time's getting short, but they such the things messing with it too much. Hope you don't pick up the wrong jaw. We've had it happen, ain't we? More than once. All right, Good, sir. All right. Good. Thank you. Here comes Tyler. That's the one, huh? Here comes Tyler. 
comes Leo. Is that it, Leo? Leo? Yeah. Yes. All righty, buddy. Tell him pour some liquor and let's get All the... Right. Well, this is Leo. That's Leo? Yeah. Good clear jar. Now, they didn't, none of them, temper with any water, did they? No, I don't think none of them did. I don't think they did either. Got a good brandy nose on it. What the hell? A different smell than I'm used to. I think it just has a mean bite to it. I think he's got some of his heads in it. The first one's never going to be totally perfect. Oh, there, he's got a table full of jaws. I think he's got the wrong jaw. That'd make a bulldog break his chain. Moving on. Mr. Tyler here. It's so many out there at 12 different jars. Hope it's not too harsh. It's not unpleasant, but I it's... can tell the way it flashes across I my mean, tongue. It's, it's high. Moving on. I mean, Doug, you gonna make a difference? I hope he does. I'll Moving give you, I'll give you a little bit more then. I hope, I hope it's good. It's gonna be kind of interesting to see what the judges think. Still fiery. And it's got peach on the back end as an aftertaste. I think it's good. All right, I'm going to go fetch him. Gentlemen, welcome back. Before we send you off to the barrel house to choose your wood with the tickle, I'm going to tell you the order that we've decided to rate your leg. Leo? Very clear, good high proof. Taste on yours was a little bit harsh. It's a little fiery uh, going down your goozle. You made some fine brandy. Unfortunately, I think it's over there. I tried it and it was smooth. And I thought probably I brought the wrong jar. I was thinking, I see that jar is still there. I'm gonna find it and hopefully the judge would like it. Tyler, yours was just a little less fire. It still had plenty of fire in it. Doug, yours by far, nice, nice, clear jar. And the taste is good. Doug, you're going to get the first pick of the wood. Tyler, you'll go second. Leo, you'll go third. You pick your tools that you need to disassemble and toast the wood that's in your barrel. Take your jars that you have, age it up, and let's, let's move forward. Jacko! Did you call me? Yeah, man. You know where that barrel house is? Yeah. You know what? I can't think of a better place to get wood to age brandy than in a barrel house. Yep. Y'all ready? Ready.